Click. Click. Hey guys, this is Take from BigHeadTalk.com and I am here with George Janakis. Did I say that right? It's pretty good. How do, how do you say it in Greek again? Yanakos. Yanakos. What's your yeah. first name? George. Yo, Yorgos. Yorgos. <laughs> I'm here with Yorgos. It, uh, revol we're sitting on the benches that are typically outside, the infamous benches in front of Revolver Coffee in Gastown. We're in Gastown. I think so. Very good. And George is my guest. Now, George is Terry's eldest son. So Terry's got four sons, and George is the eldest son, and you basically are the main front man for Revolver here. Currently. Currently. Yeah. We, all, we all had a big hand, yes. but right now, if you come in, you're going to see me. Okay, I, I was gonna say people I, come and go. I was gonna say like, was it some kind of a hierarchical struggle where yeah. Chris is moving yeah. up? And, yeah, I and rose to the top. You rose to the top, no, but no. you never know if you toppled again, it's, right? Uh, yeah, I'm here right now. You're here uh, right now. Next year could be a different brother. Oh, that, that's true. One of the four <laughs> brothers that get rotated, or uncle, or cousins, or whoever. Exactly. Right? But uh, I'm here with George because um, because of George's Instagram feed. Now, if you go to at Revolver Coffee, yeah, and what I really liked about Revolver Coffee's Instagram feed is the fact that 80 to 90% of the shots are taken either on this side of Revolver Coffee, and you have a B side which is called Archive. Yep. But other than those two spots, I mean, 80 to 90% of the images came from that. So the um, the first time I remember taking a shot that I'll call this, this post post bad Instagram, typical and and maybe. Uh, Uncurated. Yes. Um, I remember taking that shot because there were two. We had just pulled two espressos, mm. and they were sitting on the window resting. And it happened to be it was summer, and the sun was shining through the windows. Mm. And it was the first time where I looked at something. Like, oh, that looks really cool because of something else, not mm. just the content, but because of the situation, yeah, which yeah. was the light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I take a picture, and I remember posting that. And that was the, that shot to me signifies the. Transition, the metamorphosis. Oh, metamorphosis! Like, oh, nice yeah, metamorphosis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, into what you're referring to, which is that very stylistic uh, revolver shot. Yes, yes. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've been here for five years, um, just a little more. I mean, since we opened, but yeah, even before. So I've been in this space a lot, yeah. uh, and in the various seasons and the light shift. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Started to take notice of that a few years in. That's how long it took. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's like, oh, okay, I mean, I told you today, okay, the sun's going to be up at about... Yeah, you knew exactly when it was going to rise and when the next spot window will be, which is, you said, around 2 o'clock. Yeah, the so next we window. may hit that, Yeah. how long we saw it. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I started to just take notice of that mm -hmm. and try and work with the light instead of just the content. Yes. And because I'm in this room all the time, it's really easy to get bored and just keep doing the same shot. Yes. Know, maybe an overhead shot that yeah, yeah. is very warranted a lot of the time. Yeah. But not every time. No. Um, for us. It'll be a boring feed after a while. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And we don't I mean we make coffee, we don't have that many different things to do. Yeah. <laughs> if yeah, you yeah. have a different product, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um but yeah, for us or for me, um, to be able to be in the area uh, that I'm maybe I'm working over there and then all of a sudden I see the light here. And I say, oh, okay, that's cool. Let's see what we can do with that. And it keeps, I guess, because I'm working with something that is moving, like, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I get the advantage of seeing something new every day, or I get to see something for the first time, mm -hmm. even though I'm in the same space. Yeah, so you're not chasing light, you're stationary. The light is shifting. So the sun rises, you know, this is a west, east facing sunlight, so you get yeah. the sunrise, but yeah. it has to come over that building there. Exactly. And as it shifts this way, the, the shadows and the light start shifting. And at the end of the day, the lighting actually starts focusing on across the street. Exactly. So some of your shots are actually looking out. Yep. Right, going some, this way. Yeah, some go against us. So you, you people, you know, for those of you who haven't checked out the Revolver Coffee feed, go to the Instagram account, you'll see how uh, George uses this space in a creative way. And what really attracted me was the idea of people say, only if I went to Paris and I went to the Louvre, then right. I can get the money shot. It's, I always feel like you could be stuck in a bedroom or in a hospital bed if you're sick or s stuck at work yeah. and feel like, well, I can't take great pictures because I'm stuck at work. And I thought that was funny because you are stuck at work, yeah. and yet your whole feed is based on what 1,600 square feet or whatever how many square footage yeah, you have. Not even. Yeah. 
not even, and yet you find a creative way every day to post something. Thanks. So you do shoot a lot with that. Yeah. But during the day, can you whip that out? Uh, I can, but I'll always have my phone in my pocket, mm. and I'm not afraid to use my phone. Yes. There were, I mean, uh, again, I can show you on the thing, but there were, I'd say about a year's worth of photos that were purely Nexus 5. Oh, wow. Nexus uh, And Nexus, not even iPhone. Not, in, not, not in an iPhone, Nexus 5. Uh, the low of the low. Um, but, but it gave it a, a certain look. Yes. And sometimes it's nice to not have pigtail. Especially yeah. when you're working with... Sometimes. Like, there's a, a different kind of look. Almost like a comic. Of course. Well, you know, more. to me, I think... Um, so, after... Okay, so before the X7, you were using the Ricoh GR for a while. Yes. Right? So, so you shot a Nexus 5... GR yeah. and now X70, but you know I'm going to tell you and X5 now. and or X, 5X or Nexus 5X. Nexus 5X, but I'm going to tell you there is still a consistency across all your images that there's this look. So people who feel like oh you switched to X70, there's a clear difference in how your images look. I don't, I can't really tell when you switched over. Right. Right. Can you I, tell? No. Oh, I, maybe, maybe well, you I can mean, tell, but because I might know only because I, I did the shooting. Yeah. But the point is. It just makes it easier to get that shot with certain tools. So I yes. mean, the fact that I can control this instead of constantly pointing at my screen yes. to try and, especially with light, yes. um, if I can have the stationary on the manual mode, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I know I don't have to worry about oh, I move my phone at a millimeter, mm -hmm. and also the light is yeah, yeah, yeah. highlight. And you also, I notice that you keep on pulling this out, so you like the articulating. I, I love it. Yeah. Especially, I've been shooting Hasselblad as well. Mm. So you're so just looking down. This to me is now more natural. Yeah, which yeah, is yeah. funny because okay so so you you like the articulating screen you shoot with the house of blood you like the sort of like the point of view pov kind of shots i've noticed that you've been doing yeah a lot of that and that you know again being in this it's not a static environment but it's a static room in the sense that I'm yeah it's a set right? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this adds a whole nother angle to everything Yes, as if you shrunk three feet. Exactly. And so, so you're seeing it from a different point of view. Yeah. So maybe a year ago I was only approaching with GR, for instance. Yeah. So, so you're it would always, be really hard to do this. Yes. Yeah. But now also I have this new angle where I can do this, where I can do this. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So that also adds to the environment and my ability to shoot differently. Very good. With them. Excellent. Okay, so we'll stop talking about shooting. Yeah. So let's actually go. We'll. we'll, we'll We'll walk the walk. Well, yeah, exactly. So let's actually see you. So I have uh, Ryan from Arcade Original with me, and he's going to be shooting some of the behind-the-scenes shots. So let's uh, let's go and start shooting, and while we still have good light, so let's let's get sure. going. Just so you know, um, we, we should have explained in the beginning, you are here on Sundays not as a picture-taking endeavor. Oh, yeah. You're actually here working because as, as part of a family-owned business, it's, you need that one day off where you have to do inventory, test coffees, testing different things. And so you are actually pri still primarily here to work. 
Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so, but while you're working, that's when you start noticing these amazing shots in, in your solitude. Definitely. It's, I mean, so, like you said, a lot of the shots are taken during work hours, mm -hmm. but there's definitely a specific kind of shot that's a little bit more maybe composed or, yes. or uh, I had time to take it maybe to different angles. Yes. So, when you shoot on your, by yourself on Sunday, now you're going to have people like knocking on the window yeah, on Sunday. Yeah, <laughs> but um, I don't think we're there yet. Um, oh, after this video, <laughs> right? Maybe right, right. Um, we talked about how your images from your GR, from your Nexus, from your X70 look similar. So obviously, the your workflow is very similar. Yeah. Right. So once you get the shots in there, what's what's the next step? So once I get the shot in here, um, I have a good idea which ones I'm going to like, but I I'll put them all on if there's even a chance mm -hmm. onto my phone. Um, but I always do all the editing on my phone. Because mm -hmm. that's how I'm assuming most people are going to see it, oh, okay. especially if it's Instagram. Yes, yeah. it's you know it's rare for me to go online and look at Instagram. Mm -hmm. You do, um, but it's rare. So I want to see how it looks on the phone. Yes. So in that sense, I do the editing on the phone. So, so I want to know so what sorry, I'm Wi-Fi at. to your phone then, I guess. Uh, with well, since I've got oh, this, yeah. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, yeah. yeah. Since I got this um, before with the GR uh, or whatever camera I was using, you know, I'd have to put it on my computer, email it. Oh, yeah. It was. Nightmare. Then I found out Dropbox from Home Haven. Yes. <laughs> How to use that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is nice. Um, but even then, this is obviously the most convenient. Yes. And still, sometimes I'll shoot my phone. Mm -hmm. so that Which is the most convenient. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'll put it there. I, I'm i going to say 90% of the time I'm using this camera mm -hmm. uh, to uh, put a filter. I have a couple of filters that I really like. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that would work for different types of stuff. But you, but you are adding filters, so you take the pure picture with no filters, yep. and then you do all your, your post on this, so highlight shadows, contrast, sharpness, vignetting, blah, blah, blah. You do all that, yep. and then then you move on to your filters. I do it in reverse. Oh, you yeah. put the filter on first. Yeah. And then you look yeah, at yeah. it. I see. So now, so let's say I like, okay, I like this photo and I like this filter. I might turn the filter down a bit, but I ultimately want to know what I'm working and if the filter is the look I'm going for, mm. then I'll tweak the filter as opposed to the opposite. Meaning you, you add the filter and then you go into the edit portion and then you go in and adjust your contrast. Exactly. Oh, it's the reverse of mine. Yeah. It's the reverse of mine. Obviously. Because that's the look I'm going for. I already know the look I want. Oh, I see. So I might as well start with the most, um, the, the most disruptive one, which is the filter. Now, now, do you want to give away what filters you like to use? Yeah, that's you want to talk okay. about it? What, what, yeah. what, what are your favorite uh, disco uh, filters? My go-tos, yeah. you know, I'll always start with, so wait, there's the Legacy Pack, which is the 1 through 10, okay. the numbers. Um, I'll look at 4 and 5. Okay. 4 is very harsh though, mm -hmm. 5 is a lot of fade, so I rarely go with that. And because of the photos I'm taking are already a little extreme in the lighting situations, mm -hmm. it's usually too harsh. Okay. Um, but I'll start with those, just okay. because they're the closest to the left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thumb is. Um, but A7, A8, A9. Mm. Are my, I'd say my blanket. Like if you only give me three filters, I choose. Them. It's very film esque. That's maybe I should try it. It, it was worth the investment. For me. No, it, for sure. At the end of the day, it was like twenty bucks. <laughs> twenty bucks. That's like what, like, what, like twenty coffees here? No, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Like five <laughs> or six coffees. Yeah, a few, yeah, a few uh, coffees. But it's worth. I mean, for us, it's worth it because. Of the yeah, of course. Now that said, if somebody said, "Hey, which one should I buy?" I would just point to one. And what, and what what what's one pack? Uh, the, the A, the A, the yeah. A series. Which, whatever gets you A seven, A nine. Okay, very good. So it's it analog. Analog, yeah. It has. Um, I think Eric Kim was telling me he likes the A six, and I think he said it's the most film like filter. So that's why he yeah. typically and he uses it at one hundred percent. He says he just likes the look. Most of mine is at one hundred percent. Do you really? Yeah. Most. Yeah. Not not so much on Instagram. I lower it usually. Okay. Better lower it, but... So workflow doesn't matter what camera you use. You find its way into your smartphone, which you don't have the most expensive phone. You update it to the I new. Just got the five X. Five X. So obviously, yeah, X is, yeah. yeah. So by the time people see this video, the majority of the work they see is still done on your older smartphone. Oh yeah, only right. two photos right now, as of today, are five X. There you go. Yeah. And, and even that, you've had the X seven for what? Two months? Three months? Yes, it came out, which is only. Yeah. So exactly. So. So as you look through, you can see, you know what, you don't need the latest phone, you don't need the most expensive camera, because you said you, a lot of the shots were done on the Nexus. Yeah. And uh, check out as well your, your personal account at, at, uh, at GETG86. 
That's get, right. Get G86. Here's my initials. Yeah, so get G86. So go over there. I've noticed that, like my wife who's camera girl, your wife has become a character yeah. in your own personal feed. Definitely. And even you're starting to almost streamline or, you know, like it's becoming more honed in your vision. Do you, do you, have you even noticed that you've been doing that? I've, I've noticed, but I don't know if I did it on purpose or not. Mm. Um, or if it's from hearing even my dad mention how you were talking about the consistency. Mm. And someone else has said that where uh, to follow up someone's page mm. and for it to be all over the place. Yes. It's, it's not that it's a bad thing, but if you no. want followers, it's a bad thing. <laughs> like, yes. like, unless you're famous. Yeah, uh, exactly. Or, if you're infamous or famous, they don't really care if you take a picture of your dog. And then it's a fashion shoot, and it's professional, and then it goes back to the picture of your grandma, and nobody cares. But if you're if you're curating a feed, and I think maybe that's one of the last thing we'll talk about yeah. is is curation. Um, how has that changed? So, so we talked about when Revolver was kind of all over the place, and then you took over. You weren't curating it yet. You were just taking better pictures, and eventually you talk a little bit about the curation part of it. Yeah. So I mean, even in the early days. Uh, the Revolver Instagram, we, we were rarely posting. Mm. And uh, like you said, when we did, it was it was erratic at best. Mm. Um, but as as you start to get a little, I guess, a little, maybe more confidence, because I was always afraid to post something that, I don't know what people are going to like, is this what people want to see? Mm -hmm. But ultimately, like you're saying, it's that consistency and that curation that I think people want to see. Yeah. There's always going to be someone who likes something that you're doing easy. Yes. There's a niche for everything. Yes, yes. Um, so for me, outside of Revolver, definitely have, I mean, obviously taking pictures of my wife, like you were mentioning, is a constant theme. Partly because we're always together. Yes. Um, but just, also, like, just like when you're at work. Yeah. Exactly. It's, it's just like in your personal life, you are always with your wife. Yeah. So it makes sense to include her into your feet. Exactly. Um, and then with the basketball court, which has started to take on a bit of its own. Yes. Uh, and even customers here, you know, start talking about basketball, which is funny. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, I, and I like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, but definitely, that's become a fun thing because, like Revolver, there's a uh, there's a familiarity with basketball court. It's always mm -hmm. the same. Mm -hmm. You know, all the lines are literally 50 feet, and whatever the key is, this. So, even though they're different, there's different courts everywhere, which is super interesting. To me. Um, I still am in a rectangle. Yes. So I still feel comfortable, and I know where I've been before, and I. Oh, okay, maybe I'll try that next time, and and I love that. So I think after this, you, I think this is the moment where I should have a basketball account. I think so. Just so I can confidently post basketball pictures, and people can follow me, knowing it's not, you know, it's gonna be basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and, and also, um, uh, you know, by you know that now you fixed that account in that it's limited, but through those limits, it will actually make you more creative. Yeah. Right, exactly. and where some people might feel spiked, think like, no, no, I want to go from bird pictures to, to street photography to food pictures, and uh, you know, like I'm not here to tell people what to do with their account, but when you see the accounts that have 20, 30, 40, 50, 100,000, a million, there's this consistent look and the consistent style that they have, and when they break off from it, um, they will usually start up a different account. Right, and and even you know personally at least, the more I shoot, the more comfortable. So yes, it makes sense for me to focus on. Something. Like you're saying, the more constraints you have, the more creativity somehow you end up having. Well, I or, think, or you need. Well, I think, yes, you need. And for creative people, that's great because that's the nature of them. You know, like Henri Cartier-Bresson, the most famous street photographer from the world, was a painter who got bored of painting, right. got into photography, and then got bored of photography and went back to painting at the end of his life just because he got bored. You know, and so some people might like that. Other people maybe are not naturally creative. They're not. They're more like a craftsman, mm -hmm. but creativity is something they struggle with. So maybe for some, it is. It, they really have to struggle with the creativity, like taking pictures of food and yet be creative every time. Yeah. So that's just you know, each person is different. Each yeah. person has different strengths and weaknesses. So um, I think you are a creative person. So you'll do fine. So how long we'll, do you think? We'll find you, out. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, we'll look at your. Okay, so my last question then is about how long do you think you can keep this up, revolver? Just shooting in this one space. I don't see an end. You don't uh, see an end. Yeah. yeah, and even if it's not me, I I think there's enough if you look for it. I mean, honestly, even if this was 200 square feet. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure a lot of the ideas they're using, 
less than 50 square feet sometimes. It's, it's a platform. Right? Yes, exactly. Um, or a, a piece of slate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are some creatives that put products together and they yeah. just continually... In the same spot. Yeah. So, so for me, I mean, as long as there's four seasons, there's yeah. going to be uh, enough creativity and uh, I think inspiring shots. I think okay. so. I'll, I'll go before the pictures will stop, for sure. Oh. Yeah. oh okay. In that sense, you know, yeah. there's always going to be more pictures. So throughout this conversation, we'll, we'll be posting the shots uh, that we took. I, my favorite one that you took is probably, in terms of the creativity, I like the, the pouring one. Yeah. So we have, I haven't seen how he's, your workflow, you haven't put a visco filter on it, I haven't seen the post on it. So I'm excited to see that. And also the reflection. Yeah. And with the, the, the thing being a prism and the light thing. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing that all processed. And will that make the feed as well? I never, I never, I, I never commit to a photo before oh, okay. I see the final product. Oh, I see. And I'm okay. I'm willing to throw things away. Mm -hmm. And I think that's also important. It's, it's not posting something just because you haven't posted in a day or two. Oh, that's true. Um, now it's ideally you post consistently. Yeah. Do you post every? I think you do post once or um, twice a day with Revolver at least. If I have the photos, yeah. Have you ever missed um, a day? Oh yeah. Okay, so you have. So this last week, for instance, I was, I was pretty, uh, pretty busy, mm. and I think there might be two posts in a week. Oh wow! Just, I didn't even notice. Right. Yeah. But then there might be a day where there's three. Mm. So it really just does depend on the content. Oh, very good. Oh, you're a, you're a strict curator. Well, I have my own. It's easy when you're one person. <laughs> no, but actually, you say that, but actually, that's hard. People can't self-critique. Like most artists have curators, or most writers have editors, right. and most movie directors uh, have the, the producer that sits there and then deletes parts. Yes. That's what they have, you know, director's cut, because the director's like, I want that yeah. scene in there, and the producer's like, well, I don't want it. Yeah. But and usually you, it's better without the director's cut. Yes. I would say. Yes, because As a the director is so connected to the piece that they cannot separate themselves and see it objectively. So I, I actually personally feel that self-curating is actually, it's the most, it's easy because you're your own boss. Like, oh, I'm the photographer and the curator. Yes. So that's easy, but that's, it's an easy way to go wayward. When you start going self, no one's telling you like, oh, this isn't looking good. Except maybe like your lights are dropping. But right. other than, yeah. but that's not always the best gauge. No, it's not. Sometimes you know? uh, it just means you took a, a new photo. Yes, that, yeah. Maybe they haven't seen. Exactly. No, so, I have to give credit though to my wife who does ultimately have I'll, whenever I have a photo ready, I go, what do you think? Oh, do you and, do that too? Oh, yeah, for sure. I do that with right? camera girl with my wife. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Why, why do you trust her? Because she's right. Why do you trust her? Um, See? She gets the outside look. There's no investment like you're talking about in the photo itself. No one cares how hard you have to work to get the yes. photo if it doesn't work. Yes. At least uh, I don't care. Yeah. Thank you, Robin, for yeah, thanks, Robin. pure um, backup curating. Definitely. The second curator. Maybe she actually is a curator. She, yeah, maybe I'm not as uh, as, as a, uh, a lone ranger as I think I am. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> you know, and even my, my brothers, all obviously. Anyone who's there, I'll go, what do you think? Yeah. But there's, but Robin's opinion is the one that has oh, more very weight. Very good. I hope she, hopefully she's watching this video. We'll see if she makes it. This is it's about 20 minutes. In. Uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll see, we'll see. But yeah. uh, excellent. So again, um, you're using X70, I'm using X70. Um, it doesn't really matter what camera we use, it's about workflow, it's about um, finding a consistent theme. Don't blame what city you live in, don't blame what you do for work, uh, don't blame other things. Yes, they could be obstacles, but obviously you work with the obstacle of same space every day, yep. and you've made it your own thing, and in fact, you've become so focused, it's become your thing. And as well, proper curation, they count, and listen to your wife or your significant <laughs> other. Exactly. I think that's pretty much it. So thanks again, George, and I uh, hope you enjoy the pictures, hope you enjoy the video. Uh, like if you like, if you have any comments, comment down below. Follow Revolver and George's personal Instagram accounts, they're awesome feeds. And the new uh, basketball account. And, and the new to basketball, be named. to be named, to be named. So just, you gotta follow yeah. Get G86 to know what it is. And uh, yeah, thank you, I thanks love having you. other creatives on the show, so. All right. Thank you everyone for watching and happy shooting. Click, click. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna do what you do. In homage to you, I'm gonna shoot down low. Here we go. 
All right, so thank you everyone for watching and happy shooting. Click, 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 click. All right.